Score. 70. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Hammer it. Hammer it? Oh. Bop it. Oh, I did it. Hammer it. Twist it. It worked. Drink it. Yo! I, 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 Four, <laughs> seven. All right. seven. Wait, what was your score? Seven. Oh. Yeah. The best I've the best I've done is seventeen. Oh. And but I gotta, but I bought it. I on, gotta at least get eight now. But I bought Damn. it on eBay. Um, and and it came uh with, with a high score of seventy, which I'm never gonna beat. Just read. And and then it's gotta go to sleep. It's just gonna talk. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna talk incessantly. Yeah. Okay. All right. What do you think? Should we open the curtains? Yeah, I guess we should open the curtains. All right. Let's so see if now I, I just want to play bop it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't just like come around the curtain that way. Just like your hands reaching over listen, here. Listen, listen. I'm gonna. You go to sleep. You go I'm going to sleep. edit this. <laughs> I'm going to edit. It'll be fine. Can, can, can we dim the lights? All right. <laughs> All right. Let's make some popcorn. <laughs> uh, oh, see, we're full of noise. What, what's on the popcorn? Jelly. Jelly on the popcorn? Grape jelly. Is this a pregnancy craving? <laughs> Doesn't sound bad, really. Sounds pretty good. Or maybe good. jelly on the side, and you can just dip it into it. This is PlayStation VR. Theater. Theater. <laughs> This is the Midnight Gamescast. We record every Tuesday afternoon at midnight, and we bring it to YouTube every Wednesday as the weekly wrap-up. That was yesterday. So long ago. So long ago. So long ago. Ooh, I like that one. Doesn't anybody stay in <laughs> one place anymore? Is that not it? It would be so nice. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, not it. Every, every Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> every Tuesday is PlayStation VR Theater. Theater. And every Friday is VR Takeover, where we let you, the little game cats, <laughs> we let you take over the show. As weird. always, my name is Brian, and to my left, your right is Michelle, the one, the only, Varicione. And somewhere in the world, Jeremy King. Is sitting home with a sick child. Yes. Yeah. Um, maybe, I wonder if he's playing Resident Evil 7. You think he's just gonna, he's probably not gonna play all week long. What do you long. think he's actually doing right now? So, the funny thing is, when I think about Jeremy, um, <laughs> like, just living his life. Yeah. I, I can't imagine him doing anything. Oh, well, he's actually, he's picking up his other kid at uh, school right now. That's I what he's doing. still can't picture it. It's, I, I really just think he, 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 he says he has, like, an ex-wife and, and a and girlfriend. Two uh, and, a girlfriend. and two kids. And yeah. yeah. And, like, a, a job that, like, requires a lot of his time. Yeah. But I really think he just sits in a room so, by himself. Though, I will... Photoshopping pictures of kids into I will, <laughs> his life. Yeah, that might be true. I will say, I have seen him. He has sold me a car at his job. So... They did him a favor. They let him show up for one day. <laughs> yeah, like, Listen, right? I need to prove to people. Oh, is that why everyone was like, Jeremy! <laughs> <laughs> Walking in. <laughs> exactly. All right, makes yeah. sense. Cool. Uh, so uh, so every week on... Uh, PlayStation, PlayStation VR Theater. Theater, <laughs> yeah. Theater. That's theater. 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 Uh, we sit around and we watch we, said, we watch PlayStation VR trailers of upcoming PlayStation VR games. Uh, but, we do. But this is not the place to, to get your information from because, A, we don't know much no. of it, and, B... Uh, we're, we talk over the trailers. We yeah, Mystery Science like Theater jerks. 3000 the crap out of this shit. Uh, and so we apologize ahead of time for ruining your show. Also, this is what the show is, so we're not ruining anything. What is our first trailer that we're going to watch this week, Michelle? Brain Voyagers. Ricochet. Sorry. Brain Voyagers Ricochet. Yeah. All right. Well, let's I think let's check it out. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Here it is. On your mark. Get set. And Get go. Get set. No, <laughs> Pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer it. <laughs> Comb it. Are we playing Spark? <laughs> I, I think this this looks like Spark. This looks awful. This what it looks like. What the hell? No. <laughs> no, I can't see what's It's two going players, on. right? Or is that just one player with two paddles? Uh one player, two paddles. One player, two paddles. Okay. I said that so fast without. You're like, I think it's true. Yeah, right? Yeah. I this um, lightsabers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's Wait, going on now? I was thinking drumsticks, but yeah, lightsaber okay. seems yeah, to make yeah, more happy, sense. Yeah, yeah, happy drummer. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, this is, this is just VR breakout, VR Arkanoid. That's 
in an elevator. That's exactly what it looks like in an elevator. Oh, well, let's, let's showcase the menu screen. That's what they're doing. They're like, hey, there's okay. also a menu screen. Which means there's more options to do something. Uh, it said easy, medium, and hard. So uh, there's options oh, to change the, the... Vibe port. Yeah, so coming to PlayStation VR as well, aren't we lucky? Game of skill, coordination, and focus. <laughs> I love that... They on, didn't look very focused. On the official HTC Vive YouTube channel that has 28,000 subscribers, that had... Oh, crap. Crap. It had, it had like seven... It had like 16 likes and seven dislikes. It's like, what, what the hell's going on here? That's so weird. <laughs> okay. uh, so, Brain Voyagers, what do you th- what do you think of the trailer, first and foremost? Um, boring. Yeah, it looks fucking real boring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the problem and the biggest problem I have is like if this came out around launch or even like a month or two after, I would have yeah. been fine. I would have been like, oh sweet, you know. This oh, is then it would have been awesome. Right, it's something different, something new. It's so funny how that works too. Absolutely, because yeah. I mean, well, because we were because it's cra- new and fresh and like VR, anything's awesome. We were craving new experiences. No, it's VR, anything's awesome except for this game and that game and that game. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Plus, we we already got we already got Proton Pulse, which is looks just like this game except trippier, which is cooler. Yeah. yeah. Um, we got a game similar to this, which is Hollow Ball, uh, and we also got whatever yeah. whatever the one that was uh, shit. I forget what it was called. It was it was included in PlayStation VR Worlds. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, and, and so I'm like, well, what are, you, what are you bringing to this genre that's new and different? Right? Yeah. What, what makes it better than the game we got a year ago with Proton Pulse? Yeah, there wasn't, mu- there wasn't a whole lot of information on this one. Um, it was just saying, like, you know, um, <clears throat> defeat waves of enemies, which enemies just look like floating yep. uh, energy balls, basically, right? So, yeah, it, it didn't really interest me. It's not going to be my pick of the week, and I haven't seen everything else yet. No. Well, <laughs> spoilers, I, I, will I have. Tell you, I will tell you right now, this is not the best week for PlayStation VR trailers. No. No. Uh, <clears throat> this is... So, for, for me, for me, this seems... Uh, this this doesn't look like anything I want to play, right? Uh, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot because... Which you will. Yep. In 2D, I, like Arkanoid and Breakout, those style of games, like just the break blocking, brick breaking games... Uh, there was one That's on PlayStation helpful. 3 called Shatter, which I loved, mm-hmm. um, because it actually it brought something new. It, like, the music was awesome. Uh, it just brought this, like, high intensity. And the whole thing was played on in a square, I think, if I remember correctly. And, you're, like, your paddle could move, like, all over the side. I don't know. Okay. Um, and so, like, that was a lot of fun. But, but again, like, we've, we've already gotten games like this in VR. And I got to say, playing Proton Pulse, which I was, like, super excited for at the beginning, mm-hmm. about 10, 20 levels in, you're like, I've already lost interest. Yeah. Like so, even the game we have already didn't keep my interest. So I'm curious to see if this can. If this does something different, yeah. Right. What is it going to bring to the table that is different? No idea. Maybe it made some of them interested, though. I mean, Maybe. well. Yeah. If you uh, if you are interested in this game, I want to, I want to hear from you down below in the comments. Tell us why. Uh, tell us why. Tell me if you played Proton Pulse or Hollow Ball or any of the similar type mm-hmm. games. Hollow Ball was kind of cool. Yeah, Hollow Ball was more similar is sim- more similar to Pong uh, yeah. than than uh, than Breakout or Arkanoid, but it's the same ball going back and forth kind mm-hmm. of mechanic so um yeah i don't know we'll see okay all right well let's not waste any more time on that game then let's move on to speaking of time the next game what is the next game time uh time carnage time carnage go, <laughs> go. all right, all right. <laughs> dragon wales interactive you know who you know who what Ooh, game made colors. wales interactive made uh don't knock twice oh yeah yeah and a bunch of other games <laughs> <laughs> Is this another wave shooter? Mm, that's what it looks like. Why the hell are we getting so many wave shooters? Uh, survival shooter. Yep. <laughs> hmm. 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 So, we, 30, so far 40, we... Was that their ammo? It wasn't going down there shooting, so maybe not. Ooh, what are we, like, um, teleporting into new areas? Well, it's Dinosaurs. Called... I'm assuming... Zombies. I'm assuming that's just their, like, little... Uh, Showing the next, yeah, you would th- you would their, think, their but transition maybe... from video to video. But yeah, I don't, I don't, no, 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 I don't know, I don't, I don't like that little effect they used. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, yeah. Made it, it made it feel kind of cheap, uh, and also, I don't, I don't really like games where you time travel. Where you time travel? Okay. Um, and, and there's a reason for it. Meaning you personally moving, picking up and moving somewhere else, and you just, you just don't like that, or I don't like, I don't like games where like you travel through time. Okay. Like I, because this game it's called Reasoning? Time Carnage. Uh, well, so when this doesn't sound like the game for you. <laughs> this this all started. Let me figure this out. This all started back on PlayStation One, when I played a game called Time Commando, right? 
And so you and, just had a bad experience. <laughs> but but the, the bad experience has continued, right? Yeah. So Time Commando is a pretty awful game, right? It uses all these like pre-rendered video backgrounds and it like scrolls automatically and like you just control this character on screen and you go through like all these stages of history. And it, it always feels like in any game where you travel through time that the time like traveling through time mm-hmm. is supposed to be the coolest part of the game. Like Time oh, Splitters, yeah. which was a fantastic game. I was like, I would get familiar with weapons, and then you'd move to a different time period, and then you'd have like totally different weapons. And I'm like, I don't even like this. Like, I, I, I just, I like to be set in one time period. And and. Gosh, meanwhile, my brain's going totally astray, being like, wow, time travel would be so cool in VR if you could just like put in a certain time period. You know, like that's just on the options menu or whatever. Yeah. Like, you I'll choose this period here, and then you get to go and you get to explore and walk around like ancient Egypt and pyramids or then like let's move over here and so this, I think it would be awesome <laughs> but, but what Time Carnage is doing is saying is saying okay well we made a level where we shoot a bunch of dinosaurs okay now we made and a level where you shoot a bunch lobsters. of lobsters and, yeah. then, and then, a bunch, then you shoot lasers at like aliens and then you do that right. it's like it's like it's just no focus right right and, and if it's just in and they're I, all over the place I like a game where you can like upgrade your weapons like where like every time you play you can like modify your weapons upgrade your weapons advance your like character and stuff but when, but when every level has you using new weapons is there mm-hmm. any chance to to have some kind of upgrade system yeah. is that even a possibility I don't know um it's not out yet it's it's, it's not it's, out yet. and it's not out for anything it's coming out March There's 12th a ton of guns though March 12th on Steam is the release date on PC yeah, there's a ton of guns. Did you um, write down any? Yeah, well, there's, I think, 25-plus guns, um, like, flamethrowers, time-stopping grenades, yeah. um, over 20 unique challenges as well. What does that mean? Like, levels? Like, I don't like, know. Like, you know, what's going on there? For the, um, for the campaign, weapons. Campaign or arcade mode? For the weapons, I wrote down baseball bats, crossbows, laser pistols. Oh, you really wrote down something. Yeah. Yeah. And I wrote down flamethrowers and time stopping <laughs> grenades. <laughs> it's cool that they no, like those. It. That actually sounds cool. Time stopping grenades, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Just freezes everybody. Yeah. A little bullet time action. Yeah. Yeah. Stop time. Yeah, I don't know. It's a. Uh, and that's the thing. It's like, are all these things gonna be implemented well? Is this? I, please tell me this uses move controllers because. Oh jeez, I just go ahead and assume at this point. You'd have to if you're doing a wave shooter. Yeah. And, and you have a baseball bat as weapon, you better. I feel like I want to rewatch the trailer now, see if they had the the two just going, or was it just one gun? I don't know. I don't know. I feel I feel like if you put crossbows in your game, you better have two move controllers I feel going. If they put crossbows in, I'm buying it. <laughs> it seems like a, a seems Michelle like a thing. thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, um, I'm just sick of wave shooters. I yeah, I don't think it looks bad. I mean, it's it is what it is. So it's not you know it's not going to be top most look forward to game of the year kind of thing right. by any means. Um, but it looks like it could be fun for the time that you play through it completely and then beat it and then never touch it again maybe <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much how that one's gonna go yeah i do i do like a lot of what Wales uh, whales interactive has done um like i said they made don't knock twice they made uh uh shit something reboot master reboot i can't remember there's some you, playstation price 3 games on this one? i don't have a price for it I, I can't imagine it's gonna be much like if it's 20 bucks i'll i'll be pretty happy with that price tag okay yeah um, I say that I don't want wave shooters that I'm done with them, but then I but then I like you know look at Sin Studios Wraith, and I'm like, well, I want to play Wraith still. Yeah. You know. I don't mind. I don't mind wave shooters. They don't bother me. So. Yeah. I like. I actually have fun with it, wave shooters. So. I don't need them every time though, either. Yeah. There's we, been a lot. We're just at the point where like we're just. I think we need more for VR. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like we we want to be able to get more up and options. walk around and move around and yeah. do the whole thing. So, I don't know. Uh, this is not another... Uh, this is... We're 0 for 2, I think, on trailers. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. So... Want to uh, try some Quar? We'll, we'll try Quar. I wonder if I can... Battle for Gate 18. Go. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <coughs> this Excuse one, me. we do know, is <clears throat> coming soon. We do. Yep. March 30th, 2018. Good. That's good to know. Uh, there's there's a retail version of it coming too, which is nice. A so what are we looking at? I don't know. A couple cartoon characters hugging. Look like ant eaters. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay nailed that one. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, why not? Why wouldn't you want an ant eater in a game? Um, the graphics are strange, huh? Very strange. Yeah, yeah they're like when you create. Oh, like, are you blinking? What was that? That was weird. I didn't like the blink. So I. 
I think that was the transition from like God mode to like first person mode. Right, they did say that. Yeah. You can uh, you can move around either way. I like that they call it God mode. Yeah. Hey, God mode used to mean something different. Back in first person shooter days, like God mode just meant like you were invincible. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if yawning is, uh, is, is the reaction That's these right? guys were going for when they oh, made the trail. Oh no. <laughs> What's going on now? Oh, blinking again. All yeah. right. So we're back to God mode, looking around. <clears throat> What's he holding there? Player's turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're over three. Yeah, this is unfortunately. Uh, and what this... are you, little animator? What are you doing? I'm just sitting behind a tree. All right. But what do we? do with our over let's see what is this over six hours of gameplay Ooh, over six hours that's fantastic and more than 12 levels <clears throat> good good um 18 different friendly and enemy units okay um mm. yeah turn-based i don't know that's about it that's all i got okay um, um so so this this has actually been out for a little while on steam this came out back yeah. in april of 2016 uh it goes for thirteen dollars over there, so at least like reasonably priced. I'll take that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, and and if you look at the reviews, they're all very positive. Like this is like a game that everyone loves, no matter how <laughs> bored you are of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, um, <clears throat> and and that's and that's kind of all I have, right? Uh, yeah, uh, it's it just it just didn't give us much. It's like, what are we doing? Are we are we battling? Are we fighting? Are we just going from God mode to regular, like call it a day? Like yeah, I mean for for real time strategy the point games. Of the Anteaters, like. Right. I'm, I'm assuming they're just trying to inject story, so we actually care about the people we're like, you know. Which saving. is fine. Yeah. Yeah. But make the, me care. The, the thing I've the thing I've discovered about real time strategy is that a I don't like it, um, except for B in mm -hmm. VR. <laughs> uh, when I played, uh, Corix. Corks was an earlier yep. game. Uh, with like Corks didn't even I have good. About that one. Yeah, it didn't even have like good graphics. Yeah. But man, as soon as you start playing some multiplayer in that, like you start battling somebody else, mm -hmm. and you see the other person on the other side of the on the on the other side of the field like doing their thing. You're like, oh, he's doing stuff. I better do stuff. Oh, yeah. Like ah, he's moving. Right. <laughs> and I like and that and that gets me excited. But like I didn't. No, this looks like it was just you're looking at your one screen. This is what you're doing. I didn't even there. see if this was like multiplayer or not. Um, no, I didn't either. Um. Did now have, have you you didn't no. play Corix and you didn't play uh, No Heroes Allowed VR right? No, I just watched you. No Heroes Allowed was like a surprise hit for me because I was like, oh god, these characters look like they're going to be annoying. They're going to talk incessantly. Yeah. They're going to like you know make corny like there's going to be corny dialogue. <laughs> it's funny because you liked accounting, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, account well, but then again, accounting plus had to grow on me too. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, you did hate <clears throat> it the first time. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I hate a lot of things the first time. I give everything a chance. Yeah, you do a second chance. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, so no, we don't we don't have much information on this really. We don't, but but the fact that it's gotten a lot of positive reviews, the fact that like real time strategy games in VR eventually I come around on. Uh, mm -hmm. Tethered is one that like I'm still very lukewarm on. So I don't know. Uh, this this is this one this is one if it wasn't in VR I would totally pass on it. But right. but because it's got its decent price tag and because it's in VR. I'm definitely going to give a it a chance. Price stack. And it's coming soon, you know, March, so. Yeah. Oh, all right. And if, I, and if I can get a retail copy instead of having to buy it digitally, then even even better. There you go. Uh, and then I, I, I think, uh, I'm, I'm going to say this before we even watch the trailer, my, my pick of the week is the final one. Oh, my gosh. I knew that coming on the drive over here. <laughs> Absolutely. Kingspray. Kingspray. Which is graffiti. Not, not, not named after the missing in action games caster, Jeremy King. This is not... Jeremy Kingspray. How do you know? Is it? Is it? It might be. It might be. He does always have spray in his hair. Is it spray? I don't know. Joe. I, don't know. I feel. I think. I thought it was like concrete or something. Like there's nothing else <laughs> yeah. that can possibly keep that hair in. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. What does he put in there? I like it better when he doesn't do his hair. It's just a big. Psh. Just a big poof. Big fluff mess. He's a big poof ball. He's a big poof ball. All right. Well, let's watch. Let's watch our pick of the week, Kingspray. In just a second here. In just a second. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. But a dum dum. Very dramatic. Thank you. <clears throat> Graffiti. I'm already a fan. Already a fan. Yep. Yep. I love it already. Did you just try that? that that's a wall or a ground? I couldn't. That was a, that was a wall. It felt like it was the ground. Uh, I don't know why I was disoriented at the beginning. Um, um, I, I already like 
like the ability it's to so pretty. yeah it's everything everything looks natural like it looks like mm -hmm. like what spray paint would actually do to a wall uh well it's a, it's like ultra detailed um environments yeah which is cool but um it seems like it gives you a lot of options but, for uh, for as far as like the actual type of paint and stuff like that it's like yep. make it go on wet and dry and all that stuff Yep, nope, they even have it, um, I think they were reading about that, like, they'll do, like, the, it, it'll even drip kind of thing. It's wicked cool. Nice. Um, lots of different colors. Um, Dish colors. colors. <laughs> Caps. And chairs. And chairs. Oh, look, we're playing basketball instead of, <clears throat> shouldn't we be worried about the cops showing up? Uh, no, well, that's what, that was the best part about, the best part about this game, they were saying, was that you can go out and you can make graffiti and you don't have to worry about the damn cops. I thought that <laughs> was half of the fun. I thought half the fun was like of going out and and uh, and, and, and tagging. I, re I remember reading a comment though. It was somebody who was like, I don't know, in his fifties. He's like, oh, I really loved doing graffiti, but I can't anymore. So this game is perfect for me because now I don't have to worry about getting arrested. And I was like, you go, <laughs> sir. <laughs> so I no, this looks cool. I, um, I've again already available on Steam. Yeah, getting great reviews. Uh, it came out in December of 2016, and it's 15 bucks. So again, a good price yeah. tag. So, multiplayer. I think the best aspect of this game. Up to four. Yeah. I. How, how cool, cool would, it, yep. would it be? To, so, you, you save all your artwork, Yeah. which is great. They, um, say, they say there's an in-game cell phone you pull out and you just snap a shot of it. Mm -hmm. you, can take, you can take selfies with your own artwork. Yep. I like all, I like all of this. Yep, everything about it. Show, show it off to, to your friends, mm -hmm. obviously, as well. Um, there's a, they offer a, um, a projector. Yeah. So you get like a like a little reference of what you want to do, and then you can even save that for next time. You can come back and work on it, so you don't have to just finish it all at once. I mean, this it's it's definitely neat. I think just coming from two artists, you're like, all right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> I, I think I think getting antsy, <laughs> getting getting onto a rooftop. You know, some mm -hmm. some place some place like unique, some place different. Where like where you and I like you know we were not graffiti artists, right? But like, no, oh, not by any means. But no. I've always kind of like envied that. I've, like, I've oh, that's had on my friends. it's it's on my bucket list. I want to I want to graffiti something. <laughs> yeah, I've for always, sure. I've always had friends through high school and, and through college who mm -hmm. who like just were like obsessed with it, and uh, and I'd go out with them. But man, I'd be like scared. I'd be the lookout guy. Right. right? I'd be like, make, make sure no cops are coming. Like, right. okay, Brian's the lookout. Well, at least guy. I don't have any paint on me. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> and, then, and then I and then, but then I'd see like what my friends had done, and, and it was cool that like the in the trailer, oh, they're so talented. They were create they were creating art the exact same way my friends would. Like they they'd create like a big splash of color first, and then they'd start like filling in the yeah, lines there's a little here a little there you can use different um like use like car i wonder if i don't know if you can do it in this game but like use like cardboard to like cover up certain areas so you right. just do like a like a little line versus a big one um I'm, no I'm, it's i'm gonna guess though because that seems like a very prevalent thing for graffiti artists yeah um, well they're saying um wide range of caps do, what does that mean i don't know so maybe maybe um different type of um uh like widening and shortening of it i don't know i have no idea yeah um i'm again not not technically proficient in the uh, yeah. in, in the, the street art category exactly but um definitely but, pick of the week but four players That's and it. up to four players so yeah, hanging out like on a rooftop someplace cool uh and just and just being able to like create something with a with a bunch of other people right like this is sort of like the, the gives like the rec room mentality the rec yeah. room vibe where it's like this is like it's so funny that like when playstation vr first came we out we get our game cat gang Right. We can get it started, yeah. Oh, we're, we're oh, gonna be drawing we, cats everywhere. We, yeah, yeah. We're totally gonna do that. So, like when PlayStation VR first came out, it was so funny that like people were like, "Oh, you know, this is this is like for people who like to play games alone. This is like so mm -hmm. solitary. This is a thing that's like, like, like removes you from the world and removes you from other gamers. And, and what it's made me into is a social gamer, which you've never been before. And um, right. honestly, me too. I've never put on the headphones before till. Until VR came around, and now I'm like, oh, okay. And now it's the most fun now I can I'm have gonna, playing a game. Yeah, right. For sure. You get to actually interact with people. Um, so this is cool too. The um, with the graffiti, that there's also hidden games, which I had mentioned. So I'm yeah. Well, I'm I mean, curious, they, whatever. So it's like not they showed them just... playing basketball. So like if like you see a basketball yeah. hoop, you're like, well, there's got to be a basketball around here somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that you have like a little something, you don't have to just be focusing strictly on this. Like you do have a little other, yeah. some something else going on. Yeah. I, this game sounds pretty freaking cool. If you got four players on a rooftop, like then like, yeah, make it worth their while. Make it worth right. it. Like this is us hanging out. We're not just creating art. We're also gonna throw a basketball around. We're gonna like smash some beer bottles. We're gonna whatever. Yeah, I think that that was one of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, smash some beer the bottles. Same thing. Yeah, we read Yeah, we did. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, we have so much to talk about tomorrow in viewer takeover. 
I, I feel like we should be opening this pre- this package right here. What's in the What's in the pack? Well, hold on. What? What's up with Bop It? So, over Christmas, my niece and nephew got a Bop It for Christmas. Yeah. And, uh, and it was like, and the the first thing, like the, all you heard all through Christmas Eve was like the Bop voice it. of Twist it. <laughs> exactly. And uh, and and it was like, it's like, man, it was like this this thing is so stupid, and I can't stop thinking about it. And uh, and then it got in your head. And they were like, they were like, Uncle Brian, you should totally play this. And I was like, all right. And I tried it, and I was like, and I of course failed like right away. But then I was like, let me try it one more time. Let me right. try it one more time. It's try like it one more time. Competitiveness in there. And, and so yeah. I, I went on eBay. I found one for like five bucks. Uh, shipped. Yeah. And uh, and it was like, all right, well, cool. And, if and I find one like exactly how I used to have it, I would get it. So this is this is a newer model, obviously. This is obviously a newer model. You had model. one as a kid. Yeah. So what, what did what did the one you have do? Uh, just pop it, twist it, and pull it. Three things. Yeah. Oh, but this... but then it but then it got f- so each level. Yeah. It would go t- different levels, and each level got faster, 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 faster. Mm. So, I mean, it definitely speeds That's what this up. Does too. Um, but yeah, but that was it. So this. This is... Which is probably why I was so awesome at it. <laughs> so, so far, what I've discovered on this is bop it where you hit it. Yeah. Twist it. Pull it. Um, Shout it, I think. Uh, sing it. Sing it. You actually have to like raise it up like a microphone and sing into it. Yeah. Um, th- there must be a microphone in it. There's golf it where, yeah, you actually swing it. Cradle it where you have to hold it like a baby. Uh, comb it. Do this. Selfie it where you have to raise it up and do that. Uh, and, and, I, and that's oh, I really thought I was not only thought, but I was really hoping you were kidding about the selfie at one. Oh no, it's it's all real. Okay, it's yeah. all real. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, and then there's a drink. Right. There's a drink it too. Where it goes, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the one I failed at because I'm like, wait, drink what? Ah. Right. I was like, why oh, is it telling me to do things other than pop it? I saw you do hammer it too, and on a hammer it, you're supposed to do boom. Yeah, no, like I just hit it. But you just hit it. Yeah. It's like all right, weird. Cheats. Yeah, whatever works. <laughs> yeah. Pop it, hammer it, it's all the same. So what's in the package? Well, this so this package comes uh, directly from uh, uh, superstar Mikey Diaz, Mikey Diaz, Game Cat Extraordinaire, uh, who uh, who sent us a Christmas present, mm-hmm. uh, and after after it being delayed in the mail, finally got delivered to Mikey Diaz, <laughs> and uh, and so and so it was supposed to come like two weeks ago. Yeah, <clears throat> and I was laying in bed with the flu. Uh, getting getting messages from Mikey mm-hmm. saying, "Hey, I sent you a Christmas uh, present. It should be there tomorrow." This was like two weeks ago. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, and so he, I think instead of like resending the one he got, he just had Amazon send a new one. I have no idea what this is, uh, but I feel like we should open it on the air. Reveal party. Reveal party. Let's do, do it. Do you want to open it? Sure. Here. Let's do this. All right, Mikey Diaz, Game Cat Extraordinary. Whatever it is, thank you so much. We don't, we don't, we don't yeah. even care what it is. It's a thought that counts. Uh, do, do, do. Do, do, do. Inside. Okay, so unrated. <laughs> so, is, so first of all, is this a DVD? Yes. It's a DVD. <laughs> That's awesome. so I'm like, all right, good. I, this might be my only DVD now, because yeah, no, I'll, all I have is Blu-rays. I have like yeah. th- three DVDs left, yeah. I think. Uh, and I've never heard of this movie. One of the scary. Which looks like totally up your alley. It's called Inside, the unrated version. There's a quote on the front from BloodyDisgusting.com. One of the scariest movies I have ever seen in my life. You're already in love. Look, something to do tonight. <laughs> Get ready for the most gruesome, terrifying, and disturbing film you have ever seen. Four months after pregnant Sarah loses a husband in a horrific auto accident, this. she is visited <laughs> on Christmas Eve by a mysterious no. madwoman, alone and desperate to save her unborn child. Sarah fights to stay alive as each of her potential rescuers die at the woman's sadistic hands. With each scene after scene of shocking carnage, Inside delivers unbelievably realistic gore that dares you not to look away. I won't be watching this. Yeah, it might make two of us. Yeah, <laughs> stop. All right. It's you're gonna have nightmares. <laughs> Superstar Mikey Diaz, Game Cat Extraordinaire. Thank you so much for the DVD. I uh, I'm looking forward to watching it. I will tell it next week on the weekly wrap up. It should. It'll be or should we or shouldn't we? It will be one of the many. Yep. <laughs> yep ex- absolutely. I have games to play. Very true. Yeah. You know the, the the downside is is that I watch movies and TV uh, shows like the... to go to bed to, and uh, and so this does not seem like something I can watch. T- and go to bed too. Oh, okay. I didn't want to look at the back. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. It just. Yeah, it seems this seems uh, ho- horribly timed. Horribly timed for me. I yes. Th- and we thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, we do. Right. It's true. All right. All right. As always, I'm Michelle. That's Brian. Somewhere is Jeremy, Somewhere. and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> for viewer takeover. <laughs>